Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mm -hmm. We're going to read a little bit out of the book. Yes, Jeffrey and I are working on this book, and we've done a couple of videos it's where... It's okay, it's 5 o'clock. Okay. Is that threw well, you off? It's 5 o'clock, it threw yeah. me off. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I guess it's 5 o'clock right here today. Exactly. So anyway, we've been working on this book, and we um, have read... Um, some sections of it to you here and there and um, I think this section is so pertinent to a lot of conversations that we're seeing out there and that we're responding to and that people are questioning you know what it all means so it's it's just really great information yeah so you, you want me to kick this off right so sure. it's on relationships self-sabotage or comfort it's an interesting concept right have you ever met someone and there is an immediate attraction, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually? Things are going so well, you've never yes. been more excited about another person before. Oh, thanks. This feeling is so intense, it's like an intoxication, and you just want more of it. Things start off so great, and it seems like you're both in sync and excited about where the relationship could go, and you just can't spend enough time together. You're thinking this may be the one. You may even feel you are in love. You love everything about this person. You're absolute, there's, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong and things couldn't be going better. You can't wait to wake up in the morning. You are so, so excited about life. The energy frequency that you're at is around uh, 528 hertz. That's the frequency right. of, of uh, love. Right. It's almost too good to be oh, true. Sorry, I right? was just gonna oh. stop you for a second. So you are actually at the frequency of love at that state. Things are going amazing. Right. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that this is love, but you are definitely at that frequency. It doesn't mean it's well, you're, not. Well, you're, you're, you're operating at that state. Exactly, right? exactly. That's, that's perfectly stated. You're operating at the state of love, so it may be love and it may not be love. Um, I think at that point, it is love because you're operating at that frequency and then what potentially could happen next could change things but yeah. I do think that you are operating at a state of love and um, and you are at a state of love yeah you know what's what's interesting we can trick ourselves you know uh, Zig Ziglar always used to say fake it till you make it right fake it till you make it so I mean your perception is your reality as we did in the last video so if you perceive that you're in love, um, you're there. I mean, you are there. Right. So to your point, maybe it was not real love and you might fall out, but uh, you're at that level today. Right, but at that moment in time, on that day, we've all been in this situation um, where you know, you've met that person and you just are intoxicated, right? right? We've all been there, so you are operating in a state of love. And then, well, do you want to just yeah, that? so it's, so it's, it's almost sense. too good to be true. So much so, you go on to question it. You've now dropped down to the frequency of fear, which is around 100 hertz, vibrating at a low energy flow from one of the highest. And so that you're, you're at the state of fear because you're questioning everything like it's too good to be true. Exactly. So you're, you're asking, this, this can't be right. right. Um, they can't be loyal to me or um, this person is too good for me or whatever it is, you're fearful, right? Exactly. And, you know, we'll go on deeper in another video, but this point is so important to note because it's a pivotal, a pivotal point that happens in so many relationships from, you know, either or both partners where everything's going so great. And, you know, all of a sudden you're questioning like why does she think I'm so great why does he think I'm so great you know this can't be true da -de -da -de -da. so you have gone from operating at this incredibly high frequency which is extremely attractive to other people right especially this other person um, this potential partner so he or she usually will be operating at that same frequency because there's a, you know, when you are with somebody, 
you tend to operate at the same frequency, otherwise you part ways. So you're in a situation where you wanna be with this person all the time. Right. You're both operating at this high frequency of, of love well, and it feels amazing. Well, so now that's, that's you're bringing up the point, the, the problem here. So right. once you start to question it, the other person's thinking like, what, what happens? Well, why is this person at such a low frequency? Why are they questioning me? Right. Why are they questioning everything we're doing, right? That's, so that's a challenge. Exactly, well and also, um, you know, to put it plain and simple, you're up here at love 528 hertz, they're up here at love 528 hertz, all of a sudden you've got fear. You're way down. You just went, you know, did a 360 with your head and they're thinking now, okay, either this person is crazy um, because things were great and nothing has transpired to make them think otherwise. Um, or, you know, the biggest thing is all of a sudden you drop down. Nobody wants to be around that frequency, right? Unless everybody's at that frequency and nobody wants to hang out in fear at 100. That's super low. And the other person becomes disenchanted and they're no longer feeling that great attraction because your frequency is so low. So you've just, have you self-sabotaged yourself because things were great and you had no reason to question it? Um, or did you? I mean, there's a lot of reasons why we do this and we will get into that in other videos. But before we do, I think it's so important for people to understand when this happens and acknowledge it because um, for most people, this happens often in a lot of relationships. You know, you'll hear people say, I guess I'm just unlovable or, you know, I knew it was gonna end, you know, my relationships never end or, you know, whatever the reasons are. So the important part here is to recognize yourself in this scenario. And the only way that you can then you say recognize yourself, you mean recognize what you're doing? Exactly, if all of a sudden things are going great and you're that person who now has to test everything. And so instead of staying at that high frequency of love where you know, you're, back, you're spending time with that person and everything's great, it's like, all of a sudden, you know, you start to question the relationship. You question their authenticity towards sure. you. So your relationship, so, you're showing that you're afraid and you're fearful, and that's super unattractive. And you're talking about uh, somebody that does this on a regular basis. So the whole part of this book was basically, are you, are you self-sabotaging the relationship, mm -hmm. right? Are you doing this on a regular basis? Why or, not just the relationships, it could be anything. It could be anything. But the, the, the title is, are you self-sabotaging and or going to your comfort zone? And we'll talk about that again in another video because it's super important. I think at this point, um, it's really just about acknowledging, oh my gosh, that's me in every relationship. Things are great. And then I want validation. So I start to question it. You know, you can get validation by still being at that state of love. And that's where you want to get validation. Once you drop it down, it's almost impossible to get validation when you're in a state of right. fear and panic. Um, a, because you usually won't accept it anyway. Um, and B, it's just really unattractive. So. Well, you turn people off. So we, we yes. talked about light givers and light takers. Yeah. Light givers are... Uh, vibra uh, vibrate in a higher energy, you know, um, love and joy and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, light takers are down there with fear and anger. So, right. even if you're not willing to accept it, um, you're giving off a very bad vibe to your partner. Right. And he or she is just going to say, you know what, this isn't the person that I met up with and right. fell in love with or right. started because, this great relationship. Because with. you started as a light giver and they were really attracted to that, right? and everything's going great, now all of a sudden, you're starting to suck the life out of somebody else and you're, you're a light taker. And think about how that looks to another person. It looks a little cray cray, you know? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. So I think that's where we wanna end. I wanna hear all of your questions. If you recognize this pattern, you know, we'd love to hear about it. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna talk about why 
people do these things. Um, and, you know, I know I've done it before, not in our relationship, but I did it in a previous relationship. And it's so amazing when you can recognize some of the reasons why you do it. Um, and usually you recognize them as you start to grow from within. Right. So we'll talk about that. I like that. it. Yeah. Good. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the nest at Copper Mountain. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and click off and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board, and I'd love to hear your comments on this. Thanks.